everybody. My name is Mark Dewey. I'm with Purple Platypus. Purple Platypus is a distributor for object geometries, which is a 3D printer rapid prototyping company, as well as Roland. And Roland does also rapid tidy, prototyping printers, but they do it with uh, subtractive technology in their mills. A lot of people ask us why Purple Platypus. And uh, just a name that's created to simply spark interest. Uh, you know, the old uh, 3D printing, rapid prototyping type names. Uh, was a little bit tired, so uh, Purple Platypus is what we came in. Founded in 2007 by David Cox. And we are the exclusive dealer in the Southwest region for Object Geometries and Roland Mills. We also uh, sell a uh, software program, an STL file fixing program called NetFab. Uh, core values is satisfying our customers, quality products and services, promoting innovation and creativity. So let's talk a little bit about the rapid prototyping options we have. We have additive technology, where you're actually growing apart from nothing, or subtractive technology, where you're taking a, a standard block of material and cutting away to create your shape. Um, and that's exactly what object 3D printing is additive technology, while the Roland takes a piece of acrylic and cuts away its shape. So the design process, uh, the challenges you have with cutting technology is undercuts, internal cavities, things like that, can't be done typically with subtractive technology. With additive technology, you can do anything you want with the process. So something like this, could not be done with subtractive technology while growing apart. Certainly can be done via additive technology. Let's talk about some of the different types of 3D printing technology out there. Uh, the original technology is SLA or stereo stereolithography. Uh, it's been around for about 25 years. And so basically it's a laser curing of a liquid plastic. So you have a vat of liquid resin plastic and the laser traces the part's outline and cures that resin and the part grows as it drops, pulls up. Where we have SLS or selective laser centering, typically done with powdered metals and or plastics. And uh, so you have a, a vat of powdered plastic and a laser will center or, or fuse that plastic together into a, the a geometry that you're looking for. You have uh, Fused Deposition Modeling, or FDM. Uh, Stratasys is a company that does that, and basically they're squeezing ABS or a light material through a hot glue gun tip. And so it's a layer by layer process, and it traces the, the geometry of the part and grows the part that way in the Z-axis. Fused Deposition Modeling. Starch and Binder, uh, Z-Corp is a company that does that. They'll take a, a vat of powder and in, infiltrate it with a material such as super glue and layer by layer grow the part out of that powder and starch. They can add color, so it's a, a good option for somebody that needs color within their 3D uh, printing. DLP or digital light processing, very similar to SLA. The Stavik uses the same vat of liquid resin. Rather than a laser, they're using the digital light projector light. And layer by layer, the parts cured with that digital, digital projector light and uh, the part grows that way. And last but not least is the polyjet technology which Object created and that utilizes inkjet technology and so through large format inkjet printer heads uh, rather than ink going through those heads it's a liquid resin and that liquid resin is UV cured layer by layer in either 16 micron which is about a half a thousandth of an inch or 30 micron layers. Talk a little bit more about the uh, object family of printers. Uh, we have the desktop family, and the Eden family, and the Connex family. And the difference, we'll start with the Connex. The Connex uh, is able to take two base resins and mix them. So we can take a hard plastic and a soft plastic and uh, put those two cartridges in the machine. And from those two cartridges, it will print them side by side so you have hard and soft in the same build but we'll also digitally mix those into any shore value or durometer that you're looking for. So you could have up to 14 different 
mixes of those two materials in a single part. So if you're looking for a shore, shore 75 feel in one section of the part and a shore 40 section feel in another section of the part, you can do that. You can also do things like mixing clear materials and white materials to do medical models, teeth, heads, things like that. The Eden family will print up to 14 different base materials, and the desktop family just adds affordability and ease of use to a much wider array of users, with printers starting in complete packages around $36,000. So let's talk a little bit more about that desktop family. There's two in the desktop family. That's the Object 24 and the Object 30. Uh, Object 24 will print only one material, the Vero White, and it's an 8 by 10 by 6 on the Z uh, inch build platform. The Object 30 is an 8 by 12 by 6, and it will print five different materials, barrel white, blue, black, gray, and another material called Duras White, which is like a polypropylene. The Eden family starts with the Eden 250, we have the B family, 260, 350, and 500. The numbers represent millimeters and the x-axis on those. So the 500V is approximately a 16 by 20 by 8 build platform, quite a large build platform in the 3D printing world. So those will print 16 micron layer builds for an extremely smooth surface finish and a very accurate part for assemblies. We have the Connex family of printers. The Connex is the only printer of the world that will mix hard materials. So you can put hard and soft into a single build. So you have over molding capabilities. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more about some of the types of uh, parts that you can bring out of that. Who uses these 3D printers? Well, certainly the medical industry is a big customer of objects. Uh, but of course the animation and entertainment, so legacy effects for uh, Iron Man and Star Trek and things like that um, is certainly a, a big part of the movement. Making process, architecture, automotive. Uh, in this area, Southern California area, we have practically all design centers for all the automotive companies in this area, so they utilize object technology. And uh, of course, medical devices is, is extremely important for it. So we've got some different solutions that 3D printing can provide. So if you have a part that you have dynamic friction, shock absorption, impact resistance, simulation or over molding, uh, labeling, texture, soft touch parts, coating parts, gaskets, plugs or seals, living hinges, all these are capable or, uh, with uh, object connex technology. So let's talk a little bit about each one of those and some of the uh, some of the applications that have uh, derived from our own customer base. Striker, uh, dynamic friction capabilities, so in their bed making, shock absorption, coating apart with a rubber coating, impact resistance, over molding, so you get that feel, the touch for user interface type of parts such as this, labeling and texture. soft touch, coatings. All these are capable with a simple click of a button. So you can produce these parts within hours, have a, from go from your 3D CAD design to within hours holding a part in your hand, testing it, fit, function, form. Is it gonna work? Living hinges. So some of the uses for the uh, 3D printers out there, don't need to read these, but we can certainly talk about some, what, what our customers are doing out there. Just a sampling of our local customers in the medical devices industry, as well as local companies in general that utilize the technology out there. Uh, now, my own background, uh, while I certainly am an expert at object technology, uh, then the Purple Platypus booth is also on the aisle a couple aisles over. So any questions that you have, whether it's about object technology or 3D printing in general, uh, I'd be glad to answer any questions that you may have. All right. Well, thanks for coming out today, and we'll see you back at the booth.